Sook here with Seasick Stitch, and today is Saturday, November 27th, 2021. Welcome to my channel about cross stitch. I am so glad that you are here spending part of your day or your evening with me. Happy post Thanksgiving to those who are from the U.S. Um, I had a very nice, quiet, relaxing uh, Thanksgiving. I really didn't do anything. I got my Christmas tree up. Um, I just relaxed, uh, and it was really nice. I feel like this four-day weekend is going very, very fast. Um, yesterday, which was Black Friday, I – what did I do? I put my outdoor decor up, or some of it, the, the items that I had – I went to Joann's because Joann's, there's a Joann's near me, which I have not been into since I moved here. And I'm not sure why. It's kind of, if you've ever, ever heard the term breaking the seal, <laughs> but boy, I am in trouble. It is a good Joann's. It's huge. They have a lot of good stuff. They had a lot of great Black Friday deals. I didn't even necessarily go in there because it was Black Friday. I was just right by there and I kind of had in the back of my mind, oh, I have four days. Maybe I'll, I'll run in there and see what's going on at the Joann's. Um, they had five for $2 um, embroidery flosses on sale. And I'm not sure how long the sale goes through, but if you have a Joann's near you and you need floss, they're five for $2 right now. They also have their ribbon. I, this might've been just a Black Friday special, so um, don't quote me, but their ribbons were buy one, get three free. Uh, so I stocked up. I am good for years on ribbon now. <laughs> um, so for like my packages and Christmas packages and that type of thing. So it was really fun to go in there. I actually ended up not buying any floss, which was silly of me because I just I'm like, I don't know that I need to get anything up right now. And I of course didn't bring my list with me because I just wasn't necessarily thinking that I was going to, um, Joann's. So, um, Check your Joann's if you need floss, um, and I'm sure I will be going back to Joann's more frequently now that I've broken that seal. Uh, so that's what I did yesterday. Got the outdoor decor up. I'm still waiting on some lights to come so I can decorate my fence and the post in front of my house, and then I'll be I'll be done. I'll um, insert uh, um, maybe a little picture or something at the end of the video. But I feel like this weekend is going so fast. I still have a lot of indoor decor to do. I haven't put up my bedroom Christmas tree yet, um, and I haven't decorated very much inside. So I want to get that done today. I have a lot of grading to do because it's near the end of the semester. So I am very behind on grading, and I feel bad for my students because I hold them to um, their deadlines, and then I get behind. So it's just a really busy time, um, but I'm very thankful to have had these four days, or what will be four days, <laughs> off. Um, so it'll get done. It always gets done somehow. Um, so that is what's going on here. So let's get into, oh, I haven't had a chance to read your comments yet. Um, but I definitely will from the last video. Um, but let's get into the whips. So first up I had elegant pumpkins and I had, um, two people actually, uh, sent me the, um, the, uh, the screenshot of, um, the, what am I trying to say? The picture. <laughs> I don't know why I can find that word. The picture of, um, elegant pumpkins is what I'm trying to say. So this is what I've been showing you because I've said, I can't find the, my magazine. I mean, I know I have it somewhere, but I can't find my magazine where this is in. And both EJ and Pat sent me, uh, the screenshot. So I will put the screenshot in. I'm going to put it over my face because I think you can see it better um, than when I just do it in the corner up here. So that is what it will look like. And thank you to both Pat uh, and EJ for sending me that, that screenshot of Elegant Pumpkins. And I am losing all my floss here. I am, maybe I wasn't ready to, to film today. It's just one of those days. Okay. So Elegant Pumpkins, this is stitched on 32 count willow green linen. And I worked on this for the pop-up challenge in the magazine monthly group. And the challenge was um, last weekend stitch for five hours or 500 stitches from Friday through Sunday in this. And so I did. I got all of this is done on this pumpkin. So this pumpkin is all filled in here. You can see there's still more out here. And then there's a few more rows outside of it to complete the first pumpkin. Uh, but I did get a lot done just by working on it. 
over the weekend. So this is where we are at. So we are getting there. The first pumpkin is, I mean, I wouldn't even, I mean, there's still, it looks like it's getting close to done, but there's still a lot. Like I said, you still have all this. So, um, I'm gonna, it's going to come out. My goal is nine hours on this in December. So we'll see if we get that and then we'll just keep going along from there. So that's elegant pumpkins. That is by Marie Barber. And it is in the Just Cross Stitch September, October 2011 issue. Uh, so that is Elegant Pumpkins. Next up, I did work on Kringles. Kringles was, is my Sunday spin, and I'm going to keep working on it on Sundays through the rest of the year until I get my goal met, which is that roof done. This is by Little House Needleworks. It was a market release last year. So my goal is to get this just this rooftop done. Um, and I'm about here. I got this done. I got the second gable done. And so you can see that. So I basically have another section similar to this right here, a third gable, and then a section like this here to finish the roof. And this is stitched on 32 count pearl gray linen. And I do two over two on this, all the called for. So I'm I'm liking it. I'm I'm really pleased with my progress. For some reason, this section felt really really slow to me, and kind of like I was slugging around. I mean, I get that it's a little bit larger than this section, but not by much. But but the last few sections I've worked on have seemed to go really really fast. So or like faster. So. I think I kind of got my rhythm down on how to do all those shingles in a better pattern and all that. So that is Kringles. So that again will come out every Sunday until I get that rooftop done. And that will be a goal mat for this year, which I actually didn't think I would. And I almost gave up on it. Then I worked on Autumn at Hawk Run Hollow. This is by Carriage House Samplings. This is what it will look like. My goal on this for this year is the first two blocks done. So I had the top border already done. And as you know, I've been working on the second block. I got it done last night. It was a big push. This block took me a long time. It took me 42 hours to complete this block. Um, here we are. So this is stitched on 32 count uh, vanilla latte by Be Stitch Me. So here's how we're looking so far. And then I'll give you a close up of the block itself. So this is where we're at. And this will be my focus piece for next year. I plan to do about a block a month. We'll see how that goes because I'm telling you some of these blocks are really big. So, or they're all the same size. They just have a lot of coverage. But here's the block I finished. And you can see all that stitching that house, that barn, and the pumpkin patch, that's all solid stitching. So yeah, but we finished it in um, 42 hours. And this also counted for my H for home in November's acrostic. So I got that all done. Oh, it looks like some of the, I'll have to fix that back stitching down there in the corner. Some of it got messed up, but I'll fix that later. So that is what we have. So this will go away now until next year, until January. Um, and, and let's take a look at, I really am just pulling, so I'm making such a big mess on my couch and I can't find anything. Yeah, so the next block that we'll work on in January is this one, which is almost full. I mean, there's some spaces up there, but you can see that this is all solid stitching. So that one will take a while too. But that's what we'll work on next. All right, so that's my whips from this week. There are a couple days I didn't stitch at all. Thanksgiving I didn't stitch because I had my tree up and I actually was in the mood to wrap Christmas presents. That's the other thing I did. I, I didn't get them all wrapped, but I wrapped every single present that I had um, that needed to be shipped. And on Friday, while everyone is Black Friday shopping, I went to UPS store and I walked right in and I walked right up uh, to the counter, no line, no nothing, um, and I shipped. So 
I got all of the, most of the, I'm still waiting on a few things to come in to ship out, but I got everything shipped already. So that I did that instead of um, stitching on Thursday. And I can't remember what I did. Oh, Tuesday I had a friend's birthday. And so I was out at dinner kind of late. Um, so I didn't stitch on Tuesday either. So that's what I got done this week. Haul, I do have some haul that came in. First up, my uh, Fine Floss Club of the Month. Uh, this is from Fat Quarter Shop, and I get the MPI Silks. And this is the November, and it is called Outrageous Oranges, I assume. Outrageous Orange, yep. So there's a variety of silk oranges, which are beautiful. I'll add those to my stash. I also got my Rogue Stitching Fabric of the Month Club. This month's fabric, you can see it's like this purpley gray. It'd be great for a Halloween piece. This is called Rainy Day and it's by Atomic Atomic Ranch Fabrics. Let me give you a better. So it's kind of purpley gray. It's very it's really nice for um like a Halloween piece. So I'll add that to my stash. And then I also got my Color and Cotton Neutral. This is called Eggnog. This is the November Fabric of the Month Club. That is what that looks like. And I will also be stopping this one once I get December's, only because I think I have enough <laughs> for now anyway. I am going to keep doing the Rogue Stitching one, and I'm going to keep the MPI Silks Clubs. So those are the clubs I plan to keep for next year. I also got um, from <clears throat> the Daily Stitcher, this was a Pam and Steph uh, chart of the week by Twin Peak Primitives. This is called Ornament Book. Oh, here's a better picture. And it's just a bunch of really cute ornaments. And I thought, you could never have enough ornaments to stitch. <laughs> I just really liked it. I thought it was really, really cute. Um, oh, I guess... Oh, I see. This is the front. I was looking at the back, but this is actually the front cover. It's just, uh, I think they just printed off the PDF for me, which is great because um, I don't have a color printer at home, and so I appreciate having these in color. So it's just, how many are there? Does it say? Last days of 2021. It doesn't say exactly how many... 14 maybe, about 14 ornaments. Um, and it was really reasonably priced. So I got that and then I just got a few flosses. This Cameo Pink, I've been looking for at Acorns and Threads forever and it's been out of stock. I think this is for my Snapshot series. I don't know if you remember that one, which I'm going to start in 2023 with Kim from Stitch and Stuff. So I think that's for that. I can't remember what these are for, so I'm going to have to Hopefully I have it in my notes to remember what I bought those uh, DMCs for. They're for something because they're kind of random colors. I can't remember. So I got that. And then I also got from, also from Stitch and Stuff, uh, their mother-daughter team. Uh, Sarah has been stitching from this book, Better Homes and Gardens Across Stitch Christmas. This is what it looks like. I bought this used off of a site called Thrift Books. It was eight bucks. It's from uh, 2003. It's a great condition. I mean, when I got it, I haven't looked through it yet, but it was already flagged. Uh, whoever owned it previously had flagged it. A stocking for Riley. Six spaces between each letter. Oh, they were they were charting out Riley stocking. So I haven't um, looked through this yet to see. This is the other one that they had flagged. Um, but you can blame Sarah from Stitch and Stuff on this one because she is stitching a piece out of here. And it's a beautiful blue, can't even remember what it's called. See if I can find it real quick. If not, um, oh yeah, there it is. Come Home to Christmas, maybe? I think that's what she's, but I just see the chart. Let's see if there's a picture. Yeah, I think this is the one that she is stitching, this blue piece here. Isn't that beautiful? 
Like it's really, really pretty. So I'm not sure if I will stitch it or not, but I definitely wanted to add this book to my collection. Again, this is from 2003, Better Homes and Gardens, A Cross Stitch Christmas. It's reasonably priced. Um, you might even be able to find it on Amazon, but you can find it on the secondhand market uh, for reasonably priced. Like I said, I paid eight bucks for this, a few bucks for shipping. I think they shipped it media mail, which would make sense because it's a book and it took forever to get here. Um, so in addition to that, so I'm just checking my notes here. Okay. So let's talk Chatelaine's. <laughs> Chatelaine's. Um, so Chatelaine.de, right? Cause it's a German company. It's currently having a sale on their PDF charts for Black Friday. It's 20% off any PDF chart on their site. You have to use the code all caps Friday 2021. Okay. Um, I got two charts. Um, I got Evening in the Park, which I'll put over my face here. And Evening in the Park is one I have the hard copy of, but I have heard time and time again you really need the PDF copy of these because you can zoom in, you can see the details better. And I also got Alpine Garden which I will put over my face here. Uh, Alpine Garden is one I've had my eye on for a very long time. Um, European Cross Stitch, which is the one that does the kits for Chatelaine, uh, is also ha is having a sale of, uh, I think, 10% off? I think 10% off everything. So I did buy the kit for Alpine Garden. Um which will be here when, when it gets here. Sometimes the kids can take a long time because they're sourcing all the materials for you. So that is my huge Christmas present to myself. Um, I've been eyeing it for a couple of years now. And I already have the kit for Evening in Park. I keep thinking I want to stitch it for my birthday, like as a birthday start. And now that I'm settled in my house, I think I will um, start it for my birthday. Or I might start Alpine Gardens if I get the materials in, in time. So that is my, my big... Um, my big treat to myself. So I'm very excited about that. Now, just a word on the PDFs. They do not work in P Pattern Keeper, okay? So you're going to have to use a different... I plan to use um, my iPad, um, and I'm blanking on what it's called. Drive? I can't remember. I'm just going to use an app on my iPad to read them. And the reason why they're not Pattern Keeper uh, compatible is because they have so many specialty stitches. So they will not work in Pattern Keeper. So if you are getting them, just be aware that they're, they're not Pattern Keeper compatible because of the amount of specialty stitches that they have in them. So that is, that's my haul from this week. So a lot of haul, but a lot of it was also kind of my monthly, like it's not often that the three subscriptions I'm doing all come at the same time. Okay, let's talk plans now. So plans for this coming week. I'm going to work on Kringles, which I just showed you on Sundays, as we know. I'm going to work on, and I think I'm going to start on this tonight. I have two gift takes I want to make for my coworkers. And so I'm going to make them from this Christmas Mice gift tag kit. Um, I think this is super cute. They shouldn't take too long. I think in the magazine, they this is a freebie that came with the World of Cross Stitch magazine. I often give them away. Um, so I think um, I'm going to make two tags. In the magazine, they say they should take two to three hours each. So hopefully I can get at least one completely done tonight. I'm not sure which ones yet. I'll, I'll pick it out later. And then I'll, I only have to do two. If those of you remember, I did 26... Um, ornaments for coworkers a couple years ago, but I'm only going to do two because I only have two coworkers now uh, that I work closely with, and that will be a cute addition to their gifts. Um, so I'm going to work on that tonight. Kringle is tomorrow for Sunday. And then my new start, we already, already talked about this, but my new start, December 1. Oh, I didn't start Bling Tree. I forgot to mention that. I haven't started yet. I still really want to. I'm not sure why I haven't. Um, I kind of need um, Robin. Um, I think she's out of town uh, for Thanksgiving, but I kind of need Robin to kind of, we were going to start it together. So Robin from Bird's Eye Stitches. So um, I'm, I'm just kind of waiting for her to get back in town so that I, we could be like, okay, let's do this. Um, but I do want to start it. Um, so, but on December 1, I'm going to start Christmas Advent. 
This is by Cochet Zagogo. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but um, this is the Christmas Advent. Jan Hicks is hosting the sow. Well, it's not even a sow. It's, they're calling it a start along. So we're going to start it. <laughs> and then we'll see where it goes from there. So I'm going to start that on December 1, which will be coming up soon. And then our... Wait, I can't believe we're in December already. Here's my handy. We're almost the last month of this two-year calendar. I know many of you have gotten the one for next year, so that's great. The uh, the theme, the M magazine monthly challenge theme for next month for December is sparkle and shine. And so my sparkle and shine is held in the Scaron Christmas Kitty bag with the Christmas trees, and it is found. In the Autumn 2020 Stony Creek Cross Stitch Collection magazine. And it is Glory to the Newborn King. It is this piece. Which I started, I think I started earlier this year for AB Singo. I hope I have enough fabric. <laughs> this doesn't seem quite right, does it? Uh, I better check it. But this is as far as I've gotten. Not very, very far, but... Um, and this fabric is kind of a mystery fabric. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. I am sure what it is. It, it is a 28 count r and R creme brulee. I need to double check before I go any further on this chart. And the reason why I'm using this there is... Um, there's sparkly thread used in it, some beads and all that. I, I'm probably not at that point because I'm just right up here, but um, it has it in there. So this is going to be my sparkle and shine, uh, and I have not pulled it out all year. So this is Glory to the Newborn King. I plan to do three hours on it this week. Um... And then this week I also plan to do, I was supposed to start this last month, I think, stained glass window. This is the S in, oh, the acrostic is sparkle. And so this is the S in sparkle. Now this is just used DMC, but you could kind of imagine that it would sparkle. So I'm going to use it's stained glass, which would count. And this is from the April this year, just cross stitch, April 2021 magazine. Um, this is a gift. This will be a gift for a friend. Um, so I'm not stitching it for me, but um, it looks lovely to stitch. And I have it all kitted up and everything. I just need to start it. Okay, so that, is that everything? Yes, yeah, so that's my plans for this coming week. Now, one of the other things, and I have the rest of my, so the P in Sparkle, I'm going to do Elegant Pumpkins, which you just saw. The A, I'm going to... Um, Elegant Pumpkins also has some Krynik and some um, beads, I think, maybe? Some sparkly fabric, or some sparkle things in it. A for Christmas Alphabet. That one doesn't have sparkle in it, uh, but I just really like it. I'm sorry, not Christmas Alphabet. Cat Alphabet. The the Hade that I just started, um, and I want to get some more time <laughs> in on it. Um, R... For Christmas at Hawkorn Hollow. So my goal on Christmas at Hawkorn Hollow was blocks one and two. And I want to talk to you about this for a minute. Let me pull it out. I have block one done. Or almost done. I guess it's not done. It's missing something. I thought it was done. That's really funny. Oh, it's missing the words up there. So um, here's my problem, though. I got this far, and then I realized I started it on the wrong end. I, it should be, actually, it should go like this. Because it's three across and four down, which is fine. Um, I, I, I know I can move the tr the pieces around, but it's a song. I heard the bells on Christmas Day, their old familiar carols play. It's a song. So you, the ones with the words, you can't really easily like be like, well, that's fine. I'll just keep that one there and then move it around. 
So what I think I'm going to do, and this, this pains me, this is painful. I'm going to rip it out and I'm going to restart it. So I don't have to rip out the border at least, uh, but I'm going to rip it out and I'm going to redo it this direction, the way it's supposed to be. Um, so I will not get blocks one and two done this year uh, for sure, which means I'll be a block behind. I'm going to try to make it up next year, which sounds, that means there's going to be blocks. Cause it'll take me a while to rip that out too, right? It's all stitches. But I think ultimately I will be happy with it long-term. It's block one. Um, it should have gone this way. I just wasn't paying attention to my fabric. And that's what happens um, when you don't triple check. And I just kept going with it, right? Because when it's in the Q-snaps, I'm not pulling it out of the Q-snap every time. It happens. I think ultimately I'm going to be I'm gonna be happy with it long term. And if I end up a block behind, it is fine to end up a block behind. Um, people have been talking a lot about goals and goal setting for 2022. And um, I... I am going to um, do a Zoom call. I don't have a date yet. Hold on, I'm going to see. Bless me. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I don't have a date yet set, but it's going to be early December over the weekend where we're going to do a Zoom call and just see anybody who wants to come on and talk about planning, needs help planning, has advice to give other people for planning. Um, I love talking about planning and organizing, but my way isn't necessarily going to be what works for you, Right. Um, and so, you know, watch for that. I'll try to pop on here with a video when we have a date set, a date and time set, um, for when we can do that zoom call, if you are interested. And also you can join our Facebook group, Seasook Stitch is where that will be announced as well. Anyway, so this Christmas at Hawker and Hollow. So my goal has shifted a bit in December. I was going to finish up block one and do block two to get meet that goal for the year. Instead, I'm going to frog block one and restitch it and try to get block one done by the end of the year. And then next year, try to fit in three blocks if possible. It might not be possible, but we'll see. So that's my R in sparkle. So Christmas at Hawk run hollow. Um, the K is going to be Kringles. So we'll get that. And the goal is to finish that rooftop. The L is uh, for Lamazing, uh, and that has a lot of sparkle in it. So that will be the goal is to finish that. I might also work on that. I have a couple days left at the end of this month um, that I actually, after I work on Kringles, we have Monday and Tuesday left, which I might work on Lamazing and try to finish it this month, which means I would need to find something else for L for next month, which is fine. And then the E again is for elegant pumpkins and I'll do six hours on that for a total of nine hours for elegant pumpkins. So that is what I have. Um, I think that's everything. So those are my plans for December. Um, and yeah, I think in the plans coming up for this year, uh, today is small business Saturday. If you're in the States, which means, you know, trying to do what you can to support our local small businesses. And I'll just put a plug in here that small businesses include our favorite LNSs. Uh, my local one is Acorns and Threads, which I love. Um, Garon Stitchery, which you know I love. They're a small business as well, even if you order online. So really what I'm doing here today is I'm giving you permission to go to your LNS, visit your favorite LNS online, whatever you need to do, and just place an order, even if it's just a chart you've been eyeing, um, some floss that you need for a uh, particular uh, kit, something that you're kitting up, piece of fabric. Just think about the, the small local um, businesses and uh, try to shop small if you can today, if it's at all possible. Um, and so this just gives you permission to pick up something for yourself to support small businesses. Um, it's really the best that you can do for them. Um, all right. That's everything that I have. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving if you celebrate. Uh, and I hope you, I know that this time of year can be very filled with a lot of emotions. Um, personally, I love this time of year so much and, uh, it's my favorite time of year, but I know that's not the case for everybody. So just know that I am sending my love out to you and, um, 
thinking of you and, and, and I do recognize that it can be very difficult and very lonely for some people. Um, so if you are going through something or there's something that we can do to help you in the stitching community, please just reach out to somebody. Uh, you're welcome to reach out to me or uh, somebody in the community um, because we are happy to help. But we don't always know if you need help um, if you don't uh, say something. And uh, it's okay to say something. It's okay to ask for what you need. Okay? So with that, I will leave you to get on with the rest of your day. And I will talk to you next week. Bye.